Um, what's interesting to me is Lil Wayne didn't start cursing until, you know, fuck the world record. It took him a long time. His his people yeah. was said that that he couldn't work with Cash Money unless he could do clean rap. And he's around street dudes, but he's 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 making these hit records. And I feel like as an MC, him being limited with his vocabulary, not being able to curse, it made him a better writer, made him a better MC. I feel like also yeah. for you working with the SP twelve hundred, I've heard you talk about how you only had a limited amount of sounds. You only had eight sounds, and how yeah. having to only work with those eight sounds made you better. So. I would like you to speak to the people about learning how to work with what you got because a lot of people think that you need to have or that you need to curse or you need to have all this equipment um but you getting it out the mud. Yeah, like you know all the early cash money songs was probably 8 to maybe 16 sounds because the mm -hmm. keyboard had 8 sounds, the drum machine had 8 sounds. Nothing mm -hmm. no more. But a mm -hmm. lot of the songs was just drum machine driven, like mm -hmm. straight out the SP1200. That's 8 sounds. That's all you that's all you could do. So mm -hmm. you you gotta figure out how to make this something incredible. And mm -hmm. and I think that's the challenge. Like that made you better. When when it's unlimited, it's kinda mm -hmm. like, damn, now you you just like, I got all of this shit. Mm -hmm. I just like, hey, pick a kit and make make that work. Mm -hmm. Make that work. Like you you gotta figure out how do you make this something great. And what was cool about Wayne, when his dad passed away, that was one of the things that his dad required. He was just like, listen, if you're gonna do this. You know, you can't be disrespectful to your mom. You can't do, you can't do this to your community or whatever because mm -hmm. you're much younger than these dudes. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to have you grow up faster than you're supposed to grow up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let you run with them, but it's certain things. And I think that made Wayne great because he was first one there, last one to leave, but he had to be super creative. He had to be mm -hmm. in a, you know, like, okay, damn, I just heard all of the shit that they said and I got to <laughs> come just as hard as them but right. I can't express it that way. I, you know, and it's just like, well, you, you got to figure out a way. And it's powerful. Wayne would do rewrites on that wasn't hard enough. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm still at the studio. He's still at the studio. He like, hey, bro, can I do my verse over? Everybody else gone. And I'm like, yeah, you could do it over. And his second time doing it over, I'm like, damn, you thought about this. Yeah. Like, you killed it. Like, the, the second time you done it. Right, right. Because... He was on like, nah, they can't kill me on this song. They can't, you know, like that was what I just done was whack. And I know I could do better. And I heard everything that everybody else said. And I think he even used that energy to hear like, oh, I heard what y'all said. Now I'm going to use it against y'all and make right. my verse a little bit better. Right. Chestnut checkers. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And it's just like, bro, y'all don't get like why this dude is hanging around. And if, if, if you missed a spot if somebody ain't show up wayne was the the dude in the back of the class going i got my hand up i got yes. that first i got it right i got it like yeah he ain't here he ain't here i got it i got yeah. something for it that's that that's <laughs> yeah, man. energy baby yeah, yeah. revolutionary that's is visionary it's 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 yeah. genius it's genius now you and little wayne make magic together um the people really want to hear you and little wayne come with essentially a project and on the carter you're listed as producer on 19 out of 21 tracks. That's like a project yeah. put you and him together. Um, mm -hmm. At what point was it when you worked at that? When you worked on the Carter, did you have a new level of respect for Wayne, or was it was it already there? Because I remember that's the era in which Wayne himself started declaring that he was the greatest rapper alive, and that was a controversial statement. He. Some people in hip-hop felt like he hadn't earned that. But even if you felt like he hadn't earned that, by the time he started working with you on that album, you couldn't really... That was a valid argument to be made at the time. Mm -hmm. the, 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 even before we started the Carter, the conversation mm -hmm. happened in the club. We mm -hmm. was in Dallas, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and I can tell you every... every You know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of creepy like that where I can remember how shit happened <laughs> and, you know, and what we was talking right. about. And I was just like, we was in Dallas and, you know... And he was just like, bro, I'm going in a whole different direction. Like, fuck all of that kitty shit and all of that. I can really rap. Mm -hmm. So I'm drinking in the club and I, I kind of dismissed it. Like, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? And he hit me in my chest. Like, you know, like, bro, I can fucking really rap. Do you hear me? Right. And I was just like, all right, bro, I hear you. And he was <laughs> like, so if we going to do this shit, you got to like, you got to bring it. Like, mm -hmm. you know, he was like, don't, don't. Fuck your childish ass beats, like, and, I, and that's when he caught my attention. Ah, like I was he criticized like, the beats. Childish ass beats. <laughs> yeah, I was like my childish <laughs> ass <Bro>. beats. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> and he was just like, I'm just telling you I'm on something else. And he was like, yeah. you got to bring your A game, bro. And he was like, so we going to evolve. We going to evolve. Mm-hmm. And, and I remember him talking about everybody who left and all of that. And he was like, bro, I'm kind of like the last of the Mohicans. I'm here. You're here. So if we're going to do something great, let's do it. Mm-hmm. So I was like, well, damn, I'm challenging you then. If you feel that way, like, let's let's go hard. I'm like, anything that you do, I promise you, bro, we're going to go hard. Mm-hmm. So what I think what made the first Carter a classic was that we changed stuff. Like, you know, because we was in competition doing it. Mm-hmm. You know, like when we did the song, I'm like, I don't like that shit. And he came back the next day. He was like, that wasn't the beat I heard last night. And I'm like, yeah, because you beat my ass up on it. <laughs> or vice versa. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? And he was like, bro, that beat was too hard to what I did. So I got to change the rap. So it was, you know, it was that that competitive, just being competitive about making it something cool. Mm, like, yeah. you know, and, 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 and that's what made it. And then me going like, holy shit, you are actually rapping. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because... My early on thing with Wayne, I would have said, this is where Wayne fit in. Just the early Wayne. I would have been mm-hmm. like, Wayne is cool with metaphors and sound effects. Mm-hmm. You know, he got this 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 thing about him that makes people like him. But I wouldn't have said, you graduated to MC. Mm-hmm. Right. But the Carter, I was like, yeah, you, you MC. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because Wayne's biggest influence, Young, was Missy. You know, and yeah. you know, in, in an interview he just did, he said Manny Fresh was just like, bro, well, goddamn it, do the sound effects, do what Missy doing. <laughs> and I did tell right. him that. You know what right. I'm saying? Because Missy's a, he Missy's had a this, goat. I get it. Yes, and he had this way with words, like you know what I'm saying. But he had this way with sound effects too. You know, and I was just like, well, look, that's what you gonna do. You gonna be the Missy of the hot boy, like you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. But he graduated into his own by watching everybody else kind of like, well, y'all ain't really taking this shit as serious as I'm taking yeah. it. Yeah. I know you ain't Being produced the this record. There. Uh, uh, the, the Dr. Carter record, I think Swiss Beats produced that. But that yeah. for me, you know, I was I like the Carter one, two, three. I liked all of them. But that was for me personally when I'm like, oh, he's not playing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, he's not playing. Like he's dissected it down to where he could do a metaphor that lasts over a whole song very accurate about the way that he sees he sees MC in the same way that a, a, a brain surgeon would see yeah. a brain surgery. Well, the cool thing, what, even this, Wayne said, bro, I learned this from you. I know how to mm-hmm. pick out beats. I know how to pick out what fits my voice and what to do. He was like, when somebody else wasn't paying attention, I was paying attention. Mm-hmm. So I think that's why he did well without me. Like, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Where he was just like, well, I still take, you know, I take this serious of how I pick songs and all mm-hmm. of that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Then, well, somebody else, you know, a lot of times in hip hop, this is this is what happens. If you're in a deal and you're not with your support system, now mm-hmm. it becomes about money. Mm-hmm. It's like your next album is like, well, goddamn, who going to pay me? And I'm like, well, you ain't paying attention to like this shit ain't touching nobody. It's, now mm-hmm. you going, I need the bread. I need a yeah. hit. There is no such thing as a hit. Mm-hmm. There is good music. And, and hopefully good music is going to touch somebody. Mm-hmm. I can't be I, you. You can't put me in the studio and say, "Give me a hit." I don't know how to give you a hit. I just know good how to point. do good music. Like good you know point. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We there's no such thing as a hit. Songs become hits because they touch people. Mm. I don't think nobody's done a song and been like, "This is the fucking hit." Like you know what I'm saying? Because well, maybe one, maybe Shaggy. Was... It wasn't me. That's no. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, I know. I'm just, I'm just fucking around. I'm just, I'm, 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 I, I mentioned that record because that was, that was a record that wasn't a single, but they was trying to push another single, but that record just, that's the one that people wanted. Yeah, so that became what, what, the, what the hit was. My point being, it takes ten more people after that song is even done to make it a hit. That's right. Like you know what I'm saying. Like, and, and, and you know, we we can have a song and me and you think is incredible, but now we got to put it in somebody else's hand. Mm-hmm. They got to get it to the masses to make it a hit. If they don't achieve that, then yeah. it's not a hit. That's right. Science. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's like you, you got 10 more people that you got to count on to do their job to make that song actually happen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Lil Wayne, one of my favorites. Thank you for that, too. You did uh, No Ceilings, too, right? Yeah. So, no ceilings, I never know the words to anything. You can ask anybody, I fuck up the words all the time. No ceilings was a mixtape where I knew, like, majority 
of it because it was it it, it stayed playing in my um car on the regular basis. So mm-hmm. thank you so much for that. Um, well, even. Wayne, I love that, you know, like his competitive spirit, like, you know what I'm saying? I love that this kid, like, you know, and I could still consider him that, like, he he can do it with the best of them, like, and he'll still give you that much energy and that much effort in it, like, you know, and, and I'm just like, damn, like, you know, and think about it right now, um, we came back, what you know, with his, with his funeral album and Mahogany is like the song on the album. So our magic is there. Yeah. Yes. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's yeah. just like, shit, our magic is there, yeah. you know? And it's just like you said, people want to see me and him do it. And, and that's what we're working on. Like, like just the, the the project that, you know, before I say goodnight to it or whatever, I know yeah. he got long, you know, longevity in it, but I'm like, bro, let's do this. Let's do this yeah. for our fans. Let's do it for our yes, people. Yes, please. Yes, Get it, call me young, go get it. They can't fuck with it, my slow away.